Hi my friends, welcome to the channel English Professionally and let's continue this very important playlist English Grammar from Zero. So lesson 31. Really this playlist is very important. If you don't have time, no problem. So you can listen to it when you do other things. Okay, really, let's talk about special questions with the verb with the verb to be. Or with the word to be, or with the verb to be, it's okay too. So, you see, so you put question word in the beginning, and then you have am, is, or are. What is a question word? For example, what, where, how, then you have am, is, or are. Look, why is this offer so attractive? So, you have a question word and you have is. Why do you have is? Because this offer means it. So, why is it? Why is this offer so attractive? How is your cousin? So, your cousin, he. So, how is he? Where are my mistakes? They. What is love? It. What is his idea? Or what's his idea? It. Who is this man? He. I'm tight, yeah, I'm tight, but we aren't tight. Yeah, so if you want to ask a question, yeah, so we say, when are you tight? And maybe it's difficult. Yeah, to do it immediately. So maybe it's easier to form a statement. I'm tight. And then it will be easier for you to ask a question. When are you tight? So tight is an adjective in English. So you need the form of to be. When are you tight? Next. Why is this detail so important? It. Why are these things necessary? They. Why is this level basic? It. Why are you so why are you so surprised? Why are your friends shocked? They. Why is your brother so tight? He. Why are your parents angry? They. Why are these topics boring? They. How is this dish? It. How is your new dress? It. How is my new suit? It. Where are these clothes? They. Where is our English teacher? He or she. Where is justice in the world? It. Where is his file? It. Okay, and I think that uh, you understand, yeah, how we choose. So, am, is, or are. And so let's say it without it, okay? So, more examples for you. What is confidence? What is professionalism? What's in his bag? So you can ask what is, but normally, so in spoken English, we say what's. So what's in his bag? Who are all these people? Who is this guest? Who is free? When is your boss in this building? When is your mother angry? When is your father tight? How much is it? So you can ask 
How much is it? Yeah, if you don't have a verb, if you have a verb cost, you ask. How much does it cost? Okay, more examples. How much is this computer? How much are the tickets? So this computer means it and you need is. The tickets here, it means they, so you need are. How much are the tickets? Okay, two more interesting examples. How often is she late? So there is an expression, an expression be late. So, and you say is she late or come late. Yeah, so but if you have a verb, you need do or does in questions. So, how often does she come late? Good. How often is your boss late? How often are they together? How long is the way? How long is one English lesson? How cheap is it? Or how expensive is it? How popular is it? How long is the lesson? Or how long does the lesson last? So last is the verb and you need do or does. Where are you from? Where is he from? What books are interesting for you? Which book is more interesting? What YouTube channels are popular nowadays? So, you see, if you look at questions with what, there is something, there is usually something after it, yeah? So, what books, yeah? So, which book, what YouTube channels, and only after that, you use the form of to be. What time is it? So, if you want to know the time, you can ask what time is it, or what's the time. Okay, and so, for more practice, yeah, just uh, a new list of... Um, questions yeah which are very popular and useful you can listen and repeat so what's this level how expensive is it when are you in our area what magazines are popular now which book is more interesting what is confidence when you speak English? Why are you so surprised? How long is the lesson? How good is this teacher? Who is your fitness trainer? Where is your instructor? What's free? How long is one English lesson? Who are your friends? Where are my mistakes? How interesting is this movie? How is your cousin? Why are these things necessary? What is success? When are you happy? How good is your memory? Where is this teacher from? What are your thoughts? When are you in this building? What is love? What's the meaning of this word? Why is it impossible? What's the meaning of this phrase? Who is your friend? Which website is better? What is happiness? How is my new sweater? Where are these clothes? How are your relatives? How often are you together? Why is your teacher so angry? Why are you so angry? Who is this man? 
Why are they shocked? How much is this toy? How popular is it? Why is the suit so expensive? What books are interesting for you? Where is his friend from? How good are these lessons? How is your new dress? How cheap is it? What YouTube channels are popular nowadays? Why is this level basic? Why is this offer so attractive? There is justice in the world. What's in his bag? When are you tired? How often is she late? Why are you so tired? What are my mistakes? How's your brother in America? What are his ideas? Why are these topics boring? What time is it? Or what's the time? What are your ideas? How much are the tickets? How much do the tickets cost? Who are all these people? Why is his offer so attractive? When is she angry? How is my new suit? When are you tired? How much is this computer? Who is this guest? How long is the video? Why are these clothes so cheap? Where is this file? Where are these documents? Why is this phrase so funny? What newspapers are interesting for you? How is this dish? How are these dishes? How long is the way? Why is this detail so important? Why is all this information so important? Where is our English teacher? Who is this woman? What is professionalism? We see it here. Okay, thank you very much, my friends. So you can actually uh, listen to all these playlists or watch it yeah, as you wish. Yeah? Uh, thank you very much and we'll continue. Thank you. Hi, my friends. Welcome to the channel English Professionally. And we continue our playlist English Grammar from Zero, Lesson 32. Really, this playlist is very important not only for grammar, but also for speaking, reading and listening. Okay, so let's remember what we started. Okay, let's talk about present simple. So, you know how we form this tense. When we have a verb, yeah, we say I, we, you, they plus verb or he, she, it plus verb plus s. For example, I know the truth. We often discuss it. You expect this result. They want more knowledge. So I, we, you, they know s. But we have s with he, she, it. Look. She thinks the same. He disagrees with this statement. It looks surprising. Okay, when we don't have a verb, we use the form of to be. So, am, is or are, or their short forms. Look, I'm, we're, you're, there, his, she's, it's. For example, 
I'm in the garden. We are very different. You're in a difficult situation. They're divorced. He's a strange person. She is the most beautiful girl in the world. It's a bad idea. If you want to form a negative sentence, yeah? So there are two situations too. So whenever we have a verb, so we use don't or doesn't before a verb. So we say I, we, you, they don't plus verb. He, she, it doesn't plus verb. So you see that we use don't with I, we, you, they. For example, I don't know the answer. We don't think so. You don't realize it. They don't control the situation. And we use doesn't with he, she, it. He doesn't do it. She doesn't travel every year. This thing doesn't seem strange. This thing means it, so we need doesn't. Okay, so if we don't have a verb, we use not. So am not, is not, are not, or their short forms. Look, I'm not. We, you, they aren't. He, she, it isn't. For example, let's look at these examples. I'm not at home. We aren't satisfied with this result. So satisfied is an adjective, it isn't a verb, so we need aren't. And you need to remember that we say satisfied with. They aren't professional enough. He isn't afraid of it. It isn't interesting at all. Okay, so if you want to ask a question, yeah? So there are two situations too. So when we have a verb, so you use uh, do or does in questions. So you use do with I, we, you, they plus verb. And does with he, she, it plus verb. For example, do you know how it works? Do they fully support you? Does she have a similar opinion? Does he know her address? Do I speak English fluently? Do we show excellent results? Is this problem really difficult? And when we don't have a verb, so we use the form of to be, am, is, or are. So we say am I, are we, you, they, is he, she, it. For example, are these lessons really good? So these lessons means they. So we need are. Are they? Is your friend married? So he or she. Is he or is she? Does he earn more than two hundred dollars or pounds a month? What's your weight? How much is one hour? How long does the course last? Or how long is the course? Yeah. So if you have a verb, last, you need do or does. If you don't have a verb, like here, you need to use the form of to be. Am, is, or are. The chorus means it. So you need is. Okay, and so for more practice, yeah, let's listen and repeat. So, do parents know it? Is this thing really useful? The results aren't good enough. Does that thing interest them? Your lessons aren't boring at all. The book isn't so cheap. Is the ticket expensive? All these things don't interest them. When do these exams start? 
Is it easy or difficult? Do you need it right now? Is your brother in hospital? They are in the United States. We are very different. Is it cloudy? Do her parents always take her? These results are terrible. Does this lesson help you? Does that thing really interest you? He is my old friend. Does she understand us? Is she a native speaker? Who is here? Who are all these people? When does this lesson usually start? Is the result good enough? Do you often go there? Why do they refuse to do it? Is your brother a professional sportsman? Why do you support them? Do these lessons really help? Am I right or not? Why are they still there? What does your brother do at work? Why are you so surprised? Why is your father so angry today? This thing isn't popular now. Why does your best friend hate it? You expect this result. I hope all people know that money isn't everything. Is he your best friend? Where does she play this game? Her mother usually stays at home. How well does your sister swim? Does it really work? Is all this money enough? Why is this detail so important? Does it interest you? Not at all. He's my classmate. Is your brother in bed? This idea is quite old. All his lessons are free and I'm so happy. It's boring. How are these dishes? Are we far from this place? What does it mean? Is the news sad? His father is rich. The book isn't expensive. How is my new sweater? Are they right? Is this girl the best student? Where is our English teacher? The problem is small. His partners aren't reliable. When does he come home? Why do you learn English? You're in a difficult situation. Their results are brilliant. Is it in this area? Are they your colleagues? Does your friend have an interesting offer? I think differently. Or I think another way. Where is he from? He is from England. Is she a businesswoman? They are our friends. How are your relatives? Why are these clothes so cheap? You are kind. They aren't stupid. They aren't silly. They aren't foolish. It's a foolish mistake. You need to start a new playlist. Is he a professional teacher? Do you often see her? I'm tight. Is the video so funny? 
Does she like this subject? Do his parents believe in God? What do they sell there? Do we learn English effectively? Your lessons are really good. Do you work or study? Does she live there? This information is enough. My mother is in the bathroom. Do these things interest you? Is it a dangerous place? I'm Russian. How long is the way? His son is lazy. They are in Great Britain or they are in the UK, United Kingdom. Does this result seem very good? Okay, and you also need to remember this phrase, yeah, be in a hurry or to be in a hurry. And we say, I'm not in a hurry. I'm not in a hurry. It means I have time. Okay, so next. What do you think about it? How often are they together? Does he do business? They're from America. Is our knowledge enough? You're a good teacher. It's a good idea. It isn't cold. It's warm. His parents tell him everything. It isn't a boring lesson. Is this detail really so important? How much is it in that shop? How much does it cost in that shop? Why does your friend think so? Does that thing seem interesting? They aren't expensive. Are these lessons really good? The boys aren't at school. Does his house look expensive? Does your classmate run very fast? Do these boys remember it very well? Why are these things necessary? Do you usually come early? Is she a very talented actress? How are his lessons? He is my father. Are all these houses new? Do they fully support you? How good are these lessons? These results seem good. The woman isn't a manager. This phrase isn't important. Where is this place? Does he play the guitar? My sister is in bed. Does it really help you? When does it usually happen? Do those things interest her? Is this thing really necessary? How does she say it? Do they want to try to do it? He's my boss. It's an interesting offer. Where does your father work? My computer is new. Are they very good workers? Why is it so? My boss is very busy. The offer isn't interesting at all. He isn't at school. Is he run? Why does it seem strange? Why is your teacher so angry? Does she need to rent a flat? Or does she need to rent an apartment? 
Their plan isn't so bad. I'm not tight. It's a big mistake. Does she feel good? Does this story seem short? Do you live together? Are we near this place? Are you here? Do you live in Russia? His lifestyle isn't healthy. Or style of life. My best friend needs support now. Why is it so easy? Is the manager experienced enough? It's good. This place isn't dangerous. How interesting is this movie? How does it seem to you? Who is in the garden? What do you see? Is it a sunny day? Do you speak English? Do you get $500 a month? Is this sentence difficult? Is it sunny? Her mother doesn't work there. She works in another place. He is a professional teacher. How do they get this money? They aren't rich. They are poor. Where does your brother study? Is he a happy person? So you need to say, yeah, this, this result doesn't or these, so if it's these, you need to say results, okay? So these results don't seem very good. Where is the nearest supermarket? The story is so long. Is your computer powerful? Does he read newspapers? How much is this toy? How much does this toy cost? Is this word new for you? Is it free or not? Who is this woman? The news isn't surprising at all. Does she support this idea? It's easy. Does their rest include it? Do his students feel progress? Do you do it professionally? Is he very successful? Okay, really, my friends, you see that this practice is very, very important. So you can listen to these videos when you do other things. Yes, a very good English speaking, grammar and listening practice. Okay, let's continue, my friends. Thank you. Hi, my friends. Welcome to the channel English Professionally. And we continue our playlist English Grammar from Zero. Lesson 33. Really, this playlist is very important not only for grammar but also for speaking, listening. So it's a very good English speaking, listening and grammar practice. Okay, let's continue. So there is one very useful exercise. So you see that you choose a sentence in English, yeah? A statement, for example, it's a difficult lesson and you need to form a negative form and you need to ask a question. It's for more practice to remember it better. For example, it's a difficult lesson. It isn't a difficult lesson. Is it a difficult lesson? So the next one or the next example. The lesson is for strong students. So opposite weak and opposite easy. Yeah, difficult and easy. Two opposite adjectives or two opposite words. So you need to try to form a negative form with the help of isn't. So the lesson isn't for strong students. Oh yeah, it's for weak students. And a question. We put is in the beginning. Is the lesson for strong students? It's his weak point. It isn't his weak point. Is it his weak point? Next. 
it depends on him. So we say depend on and we put as because it. It depends on him. If it's a verb, so we need don't or doesn't. It doesn't depend on him. And the question. Does it depend on him? They combine work and studies. So we need don't before a verb. So they don't combine work and studies. And the question. Do they combine work and studies? His speech is full of mistakes. You don't have a verb, so you need the form of to be. His speech isn't full of mistakes. And the question. Is his speech full of mistakes? It's cold outside. It isn't cold outside. Is it cold outside? It's warm inside. It isn't warm inside. Is it warm inside? This money is enough. This money isn't enough. Is this money enough? And if we look at our previous lesson, so we had 200 sentences, yeah, it's a lot, yeah, 200 examples, and so I prepared, I prepared even more examples, especially for you. So let's continue. So you can listen and repeat. Do you try to learn English? This house doesn't look expensive. This idea isn't new. Why is this offer so attractive? Does his friend want to continue? It's important. Does your mother stay at home? When do your parents come home? I'm American. Are your parents at home? Does he want to do it one more time? Is he often angry? His parents don't tell him everything. My father is there. When do the lessons finish? Does she read magazines? Is it an innovative idea? Is this lesson very informative? This result seems good. It isn't strange. We are in sight. Is he busy at the moment? We are hard working. Does he often travel? Are they experienced? Who is present? They are in Russia. These things aren't so important. What's your weight? Does it help him? Why is the suit so expensive? You don't realize it. Who are your friends? The tests in this book aren't easy. Is this level basic? What does she have? Where does your son study? My mother is a doctor. He is the best student. When do the lessons start? How are his patients? Are your relatives in America? This idea is new. Are they strange people? How does he get money? Do your colleagues get $500 a month? Yeah, you see, it's a question. Does it interest you? Is it a pleasant feeling? Are the boys poor? How long is the lesson? Does he like those lessons? It's too short. What ideas do you have? What are your ideas? How are these videos? 
Where is your instructor? How does he sell this product? Does she often fly to America? Do you help your parents? Why are we here? It's on the left. Why does it happen so often? What magazines are popular now? Do your parents think so? Or do your parents also think so? Why is she still there? Who is right? That exercise is too easy. What's the meaning of this word? My friend is 25. Or my friend is 25 years old. What is it? The book is boring. Does he go to bed early? It's too difficult and I don't know what to do. What does she need? Are your ideas similar? Do they come home earlier? When do you learn English? Where is the nearest supermarket? Do they know all the information? Do we show excellent results? Does she need to study more? Do they often say it? Why are you so sure that she is right? You're a good teacher. This sentence seems very strange. It's an old idea. All your lessons are very useful. He is a designer. This thing interests me. Is she a famous actress or not? Is he happy? I don't think so. Where is this file? He runs fast. How long is one English lesson? You aren't happy. Is she your classmate? How do you do these exercises? Do you need his help? Why do your parents watch TV so late? Does it look wonderful? Do you think so? I want to know it. I need your answer. Okay, my friends, thanks a lot. So, really, I believe that this playlist is extremely important and you know that you can listen to it when you do other things here yeah, it's also okay and really it's a very important english grammar speaking and listening practice thanks a lot my friends thank you hi my friends welcome to the channel english professionally and we continue our playlist english grammar from zero lesson 34 really this playlist is very important not only for grammar but also for speaking listening and reading okay so you know that it's very important to understand how we should ask special questions for example look at this sentence he wants to know english perfectly for many reasons so first you need to ask a general question so what is a general question so when the answer is yes or no does he want to know english perfectly for many reasons and special questions he so who who wants to know english perfectly you know that so you don't need so do or does here after who no who wants to know english perfectly so Perfectly, yeah? How? How does he want to know English? 3. For many reasons. So why? 
Why does he want to know English perfectly? Yeah, for many reasons. Four. To know what? Yeah, what does he want to do? And five. English. What does he want to know? Okay, if you have some problems with questions or with asking questions in English, it's a very good exercise. So you can choose you know, a certain sentence and try to ask as many questions as possible, as many so special questions as, po as possible. Good. So one more exercise. So you need to do uh, the same. Actually, she goes to the gym three times a week. Does she go to the gym three times a week? So you see, it's a general question. Good. Next, to the gym. So where? Where does she go three times a week? To the gym. Two, three times a week. So the question is with how often? How often does she go to the gym? Or how many times a week? It's also possible, yeah? How many times a week does she go to the gym? Okay, good. One more example. My friend wants to discuss it tomorrow. So tomorrow, yeah, it's when. When does my friend want to discuss it? Or when does your friend want to discuss it? And so you see it. What does my friend want to discuss? Or what does your friend want to discuss? Okay, very good. Okay, next. So it's five o'clock. So when we want to know the time, we ask, yeah, we're gonna ask this or that question. So what time is it? Or what's the time? Yeah? Is it right or not? So we can also add now. What time is it now? Yeah? Okay, how are you, my friends? I hope that you're okay. And so, yeah, one more, you see. His knowledge is really good. So, really? How will you ask a question? How good is his knowledge? Okay, and the last one. She wants to try to get this job. So, a general question, we have a general question. Does she want to try to get this job? This. So, what job does she want to try to get? She. So, we need to ask a question with who. Who wants to try to get this job? So, free to try. What does she want to do? To get. What does she want to try to do? And five jobs, so what does she want to try to get? So different questions. Okay, my friends, as you remember, so we had 300 yeah, sentences, but actually it's more than 300, just this number 300. And let's continue, just uh, actually we need 400 yeah, for more practice. Yeah, and then we'll have a look at new interesting topics, yeah, especially for you. Okay, my friends, are you ready to continue it? I hope so. Okay, so, this job isn't well paid. Is he your best friend? Is your cousin at the airport? Our results aren't good enough. Are the results satisfactory? These students are so talented. It isn't free. You need to pay. His partners aren't reliable. Are they only friends? It isn't an easy exam. It isn't the best choice. The tests in the book aren't so easy. It's a short phrase. I'm sure all these lessons are very useful. Is he your boss? 
I know it's on the left. It's his old car. Is your brother a professional sportsman or not? The manager is very strange. We aren't at home. We're in the park. Are we in the right place? Are your parents at home? It's too long. It's an interesting thing. Are they professional workers? Is it cloudy? I'm not at home, I'm at work. Is she your acquaintance? Are they good specialists? She is a manager. Is it effective? It's difficult. It's a big mistake. My sister isn't bad. The story is too short. All those houses are old. Is his father angry? They are our friends. He is a talented student. He is my classmate. Her boyfriend isn't there. My cousin is tight. It's so bad. Their ideas aren't innovative enough. Are you afraid of difficulties? Is your brother in bed? I'm American, but she is Russian. Are those exercises difficult? Is it a safe place or not? Are your colleagues very professional? Is his progress slow? He thinks his progress isn't good enough. It's normal. Is it a rainy day? His English isn't fluent. Are the boys busy at the moment? I'm very busy. It's a very good lesson. All his lessons are free. Is it a warm day? Are we far from this place? It's good. Is it an effective method or not? Is this thing really necessary? Is this detail really important? Are you in this place? The lesson is interesting. She isn't American. Is this book really interesting? Is she a talented actress? He isn't a rich person. Is your friend tied? He is the best student. My friend is ill. This problem isn't big. Is this manager experienced enough? Is our knowledge enough or not? Is he a successful businessman? He isn't a designer. Are his lessons really effective? My computer is new. Is it a popular channel? Are we near this place? Is this exercise easier? Is he often angry? The lesson is very difficult. The test isn't easy. This method is wonderful. My English teacher is very professional. Those problems aren't big. This phrase isn't important. Are the boys poor? Are those exercises useless? 
His father is rich. She isn't at home. She is out. It's on my bed. Is it a well-paid job? Is his girlfriend American? The pen is black. Okay, thank you very much, my friends. So really, let's continue this very important playlist. Thank you. Hi, my friends. Welcome to the channel English Professionally. And let's continue this playlist English Grammar from Zero, Lesson 35. Really, this playlist is extremely important and not just to worry, but extremely important. So for our progress here, yeah, for our English grammar, listening, reading and speaking practice. Okay, let's talk about past simple. So how do we need to use these tense? So and how do we form it? So you need to use the second form. And you also need to know that verbs in English can be regular and if it's a regular verb we add ed so verb plus ed so in other words we see ed at the end of the verb for example present simple he works too much past simple we look at the verb and we add ed plus ed so he worked too much she wanted to find a better job okay but english verbs can be irregular too and you need to remember these verbs and their forms for example say is an irregular verb you see say said said he said it loudly or quietly yeah so go so this verb is irregular so we need to know go went gone so and if we want to say it in past simple we need to use the second form so it's the first form the second form and the third form we need the second form so he went there by car next I lived there a long time ago. So you see that this verb is regular because it has ed in the end. They lived happily. Next, they played in one team. I played football yesterday. I tried to help him. I tried to pass the exam. I needed more time. I needed to find it urgently. You see, all these verbs are regular, so you see ed. Next, she helped me a lot, or that experience helped me a lot. So, yeah, this verb is regular. It happened to me, so we say happened to, it happened to us, it happened to him. It happened to her and it happened to them. One more example. A strange thing happened to my boss. So happened. I remembered it at last. Yes, you, you see this verb is regular again. I remembered the meaning of this word. She closed her eyes. I closed the door. I opened the door. She opened her eyes. I decided to learn English here. You know that we mostly put two between two verbs like here. So decide to do something. Yeah, We decided to meet tomorrow. She asked me to wait for her. So we need to because it's an infinitive. I asked her to help me. Okay, and some more examples, especially for you. So you'll see this list, yeah, which is full of very useful examples indeed. I worked hard. So you see this verb is irregular. She said it loudly. 
irregular. I needed more time. Regular. They wanted to find a better place. Regular. We decided to meet tomorrow. Regular. I remembered the meaning of this word. Regular. We lived in America. Regular. I played football yesterday. Regular. I needed to find it urgently. Regular. Okay, next. She needed your support. I closed the door. It happened to me. She worked too little. They played in one team. It happened to his family. She tried to find her mistakes. I decided to become a businessman. He decided to buy an expensive car. He worked too much. We played together. A strange thing happened to my boss. They lived happily or they lived unhappily. I decided to learn English here. I decided to watch all the videos. She opened her eyes. We wanted better lessons. I remembered the meaning of this phrase. Your lesson helped me a lot. I needed your help. That experience helped me a lot. I asked her to help me. He went there by car. I opened the door. I went there by bus. I tried to pass the test. I needed to pass that exam. I tried to help him. He asked me to read it urgently. I remembered everything. It happened a long time ago. We passed the test. They failed the test. An interesting thing happened to our company. I lived there a long time ago. I remembered it at last. She wanted to find a better job. She helped me a lot. They said it very quietly. I remembered all the words. She closed her eyes. She asked me to wait for her. So, my friends, as you see, so really, everything is easy, so when it's about regular verbs, the most difficult thing is to remember irregular verbs. So, really, you need to memorize them or, in other words, you need to learn them by heart. And, first of all, you need to know the second form. And I believe that you need to know at least, so, 50 or 70 irregular verbs. Yeah, you need to memorize them. Okay, how can you do it? 
Well, so you can make uh, special cards and try to learn them. And you know that if we look at our playlist, so actually we'll have lots of practice on irregular verbs too, so don't worry, you'll have this chance or you'll have this opportunity to practice. And you know that this playlist actually is very good for your listening skills and speaking skills as well. Yeah, if you don't have time, no problem. So I know that many people say, okay, I have no time, but I believe that it's more than an excuse. So if you really want something, you'll find time for it. And the thing is that you don't need actually uh, to see it in front of your computer and uh, actually to look only at the screen so you can do other things and you can listen to this playlist uh, as a background. So it's really useful. Okay, my friends, let's continue. Thank you. Hi, my friends! Welcome to the channel English Professionally and we continue our very important playlist English Grammar from Zero, Lesson 36, really. This playlist is extremely important not only for grammar but also for speaking, listening and reading. Okay, so, you know, let's learn irregular verbs, yeah? And we'll look at some very important and useful examples. So, yeah, the first one, say, said, said, he said it very loudly, she said it very quietly, I said it again and again, go, went, gone, I went to school. I went to the park. They went there. No, knew, known. We knew it very well. We knew it perfectly. I knew how to say it. I knew the answer. I knew the right answer. Or I knew the correct answer. Get, got, got. I got your message. We got all the necessary information. I got up very early. Have, had, had. He had everything. He had a strange offer. We had, we had a good time. We had a great time together. Understand, understood, understood. I understood you very well. I understood you without any problems at all. I understood everything. Read, read, read. I read a book in English. I read your message. I read a very interesting article. I read that text. Write, wrote, written. I wrote a message. I wrote a letter. I wrote a very long message. Do, did, done. I did. I did everything. He did a very good thing. I did my homework. She did housework. Make, made, made. I made a mistake. He made some mistakes or he made several mistakes. They made a terrible mistake. Okay, and more examples, more practice, especially for you. So you can listen and repeat. I wrote a very long message. I understood you without any problems at all. I read a very interesting article. I got up very early. I knew how to translate that text. He had everything. 
we got all the necessary information. I knew the correct answer. They got all the money. I went there. I read that text. I understood you very well. We understood each other. I understood everything. I read a book in English. He had a strange offer. I read your message. They did it again and again. I went to work yesterday. I knew too little to pass that exam. I got your message. We knew it very well. I got your letter. He said it one more time. She said it very quietly. I made several mistakes. I understood him immediately. She read that document. I did what you wanted. I did my homework. He did a strange thing. I went to school. I knew the answer. She made a terrible mistake. I said it again and again. We knew it perfectly. She did housework. I went to the park. He said it very loudly. I knew very little. He had a big problem. We had a great time together. I wrote a message. We had a good time. I knew how to say it. He made too many mistakes. He got up too late. She said everything. I went to that place. I knew what to say. I wrote a letter. I did everything. Okay, my friends, uh, thank you very much. So let's continue this very important playlist. Thank you. Hi, my friends. Welcome to the channel English Professionally. And we continue our playlist English Grammar from Zero, Lesson 37. Really, this playlist is very important not only for grammar, but also for speaking listening and reading so you can listen to it when you do other things too okay next so you know that we continue learning irregular verbs yeah and so we have lots of practice lots of examples so tell told told he told me the story she told me how to do it he told me to call her they told me everything. Think, thought, thought. I thought about this problem. We thought about the future of this company. I thought so. So we say go come to, but remember go home, come home without, yeah, without a preposition. Come, came, come. He came to the party. They came to the meeting. So we need to. But I came home. She came back. So without to. See, saw, seen. I saw progress. We saw her near that place. I saw my mistakes at last. So, give, gave, given. So, we call it the first form, the second form, and the third form, or past participle. So, we see, he gave me this information. 
they gave me this file. We need the second forum to forum pass simple. Yeah, it's okay. So if you want to say something in pass simple, you need the second forum. The second forum, good. So take took taken. We say take an offer. So I took the offer. We took him with us. So we took her with us. We took them with us. They took her with them. We say such a or an plus adjective plus noun. Yeah, if we have a noun, if we don't have a noun after an adjective. So we say so, so plus adjective. So look, find, found, found. I found a good job. She found a well-paid job. I found my keys on the floor. Become, became, become. She became very successful. He became a very successful businessman. She became so popular. He became such a popular singer. So we have a noun after an adjective. So we have a noun, yeah, so it's singer and popular, it's an adjective. So we have a noun after an adjective, so we need such, such a. We don't have a noun here, so we use so. Okay, very good, my friends. And so, so what's next? Let's have a look. Okay, yeah, so feel, felt, felt. I felt good. I felt bad. I felt better. I felt much better. I felt we had a big problem. I felt I had some mistakes. Put, put, put. I put it on the table. I put it on the desk. I put my bag on the floor. Okay, and more practice especially for you so you can listen and repeat. I saw progress. They gave me this file. We felt that we had such a big problem. We took him with us. I saw my mistakes at last. We thought about the future of our company. They gave us those materials. I took her with me. I gave him two hundred dollars or maybe two thousand dollars or two million dollars. Yeah, it's a lot. Yeah, really, it's a lot. So I think two hundred or two thousand. I put it near my computer. They came to the meeting. I felt bad. She became very successful. He became an English teacher. I felt I had only correct answers. He saw her in the park. He told me to call her. I thought so. I found my wallet. She found a well-paid job. I found my keys on the floor. We felt we had big problems. I thought about this problem. She found her passport. I told her only some things. It became a well-known fact. He told me the story. I felt better. I put my back on the floor. She came back. He became a successful businessman. I felt I knew everything. So we have double C and double S. Okay, next. I felt I had some mistakes. We saw his excellent results. He gave me this information. 
I found a good job. I took the offer. I want to know English like educated native speakers. I felt we had a big problem. I felt real progress. I put it on the table. She felt progress immediately. I felt much better. He became such a popular singer. She told me how to do it. She became a very successful businesswoman. They told me everything. He told me how to learn English fast. We thought so too. She told me to call him. I put it on the desk. I thought about our future. I felt good. He came to us. She became so popular. They took her with them. He came to the party. We saw her near that place. I came home. We also thought so. She told me her secret. He came to the party. Okay, my friend, so you know that you can listen to this playlist when you do other things, yeah? So, these videos are very important for your skills, yeah? If you really want to improve your skills. Thank you very much, my friends. Thanks a lot. Hi, my friends. Welcome to the channel English Professionally. And we continue our playlist English Grammar from Zero, Lesson 38. Really, this playlist is extremely important, yeah, especially for speaking, grammar, listening, so vocabulary, reading, and so on, really. So, you can listen to these videos when you do other things, too. Okay, so let's continue learning irregular verbs. So, be. Was, were, or been. We say, I, he, she, it, was, but we, you, they were. I was shocked. We were surprised by the news. You were the best student. They were so inexperienced. He was so shy. She was a leader. It was a very difficult task. Show, showed, shown. He showed me his excellent results. I showed him my progress. Begin, began, begun. Or start. You know, begin is more formal. So, the lesson began an hour ago. The meeting began two hours ago. The conference began the day before yesterday. Sit, sat, sat. He sat down. He sat on a chair, but he sat in an armchair. So we say sit on a chair, but sit in an armchair. Next, stand, stood, stood. I stood up. He sat down, and then he stood up. Here, heard, heard. I heard that story for the first time. I often heard it when I was there. Lose, lost, lost. She lost her keys. He lost his wallet. I lost concentration. Speak, spoke, spoken. I spoke English a lot. As you understand, we spoke English. He spoke Spanish. Pay, paid, paid. I paid for her. I paid for this service. We paid for the delivery. Meet, met, met. 
We met in a local restaurant. I met her by chance or by accident. I met her almost every day. I often met new words. I met him there for the second time. Yeah, and more practice especially for you, so you can listen and repeat. We met in a local restaurant. I was shocked. I was really surprised. It was surprising for us. I paid for her. I sat on a soft chair. She sat in an armchair. He lost his wallet. We say to be surprised, to be shocked, by or at, so you can uh, say we eat with by or at, it's okay. So you see, he lost his passport. He sat down and then he stood up. He was such an experienced worker. I stood up. The lesson began an hour ago. She often heard it when she was young. I was shocked by the results. I lost concentration. I spoke English a lot. The meeting began two hours ago. We were surprised by the news. I heard that story for the first time. I heard loud music. He was their leader. She showed us her achievements. We paid for the delivery. I met her almost every day. I often heard it when I was there. She was a leader. He sat down. I met him there for the second time. I met you by chance. As you understand, we spoke English. It was such a difficult task. You were the best student. He was a very talented boy. It was a very important test. As you know, I met him three days ago. He paid for us. She lost her keys. We met each other yesterday. The lesson began on time. She spoke Spanish. I paid for this service. She lost her back. He sat on a chair. He showed me his excellent results. He was so shy. They were so inexperienced. I often met new words. I showed him my progress. We heard his voice. It was a very big problem. I paid for everything. I was the best student. The girl was very shy. The conference began the day before yesterday. It was a big success. They were together. The place was so dangerous. It was such a dangerous place. We met at last. Okay, my friends, thank you very much. Let's continue. A very important police, yeah, and you can listen to these videos, yeah, when you do other things, so it's very important, yeah. Actually, these things are very important, yeah, please don't, don't miss them. Thank you.
Hi my friends, welcome to the channel English Professionally and we continue our very important playlist English Grammar from Zero Lesson 39 Really this playlist is not only for grammar but also for speaking, reading, listening and vocabulary so you can listen to it when you do other things too Good, so let's go on or let's continue So, you know that uh, we have to know irregular verbs, yeah, so so the next irregular verbs in our list, so buy, bought, bought he bought a flat he bought a very reliable car she bought a very powerful computer sell, sold, sold he sold his flat she sold her car. She sold it for two hundred dollars. Choose, chose, chosen. I chose your lessons. I chose this method. She chose such a beautiful present. Send, send, send. I sent her a message. He sent me an email. We sent her a couple of letters. Eat, at, eaten. I ate everything. I ate it for breakfast. He ate meat and fish. I ate some fish. I ate two sandwiches. Drink, drank, drunk. She drank milk. He drank a glass of wine. I drank a glass of juice. I drank tea. We say go home, come home or fly home. So fly, flew, flown. I flew to New York. They flew very high. She flew to America. The bird flew away. Sleep, slept, slept. I slept very long. She slept normally. I slept in my new room. He slept like a baby. Swim, swam, swam. I swam in the sea. We swam in the river. He swam in the lake. Cost, cost, cost. It cost too much. It cost a lot. The computer cost Five hundred dollars. Okay, and my friends, more practice, especially for you, so you can listen and repeat. He sold his old car. I slept like a baby. I slept in my new room. He sent me two emails. I sent her an email. We flew to another city. I bought it for three hundred dollars. I chose your lessons. I drank a glass of water. I ate two sandwiches. She chose such a beautiful present. She sold it for two hundred dollars. I chose your method. She sent him two messages. I ate my portion. She slept normally. I slept very long. She drank milk. I ate some fish. We swam in the swimming pool. He slept little. She bought a very powerful computer. We ate together. The bird flew away. 
The computer cost $500. She flew to America. He drank a glass of wine. He swam in the lake. I drank a cup of coffee. She sold her car. It cost a lot. It cost too much. I ate enough. He ate everything. I drank tea. I bought one more computer. I ate it for breakfast. I drank a glass of juice. We chose another room. I chose this channel. He bought a flat. We sent her a couple of letters. She bought a new car. He bought a very beautiful dress for her. He drank some milk. I flew to New York. He slept too long. I sent her a message. The ticket cost $20. They flew very high. She ate only vegetables. I swam in the sea. He sold his car. Oh no, he sold his flat. He bought a very reliable car. He sent her flowers. We drank a carton of milk. We swam in the river. I drank a cup of tea. We bought a bottle of milk. I want to tell you that we chose another place. Okay, my friends, really, let's continue this very important playlist so you can listen to it when you do other things too, yeah? So this information is very important here yeah, for listening, speaking, grammar, vocabulary, reading and other thing, things and skills too. Thank you. Hi, my friends! Welcome to the channel English Professionally and let's continue our very important playlist English Grammar from Zero, Lesson 40. Really, as you see, so this playlist isn't only for grammar, it's also for speaking, listening, reading and vocabulary. So, the material will be more and more difficult. Okay, so let's continue learning irregular verbs. Okay, so you see, so the next irregular verbs in our list are the following. Steal, stole, stolen. They stole this information. He stole her back. They stole his idea. Wake, so we often say wake up. Walk, walk on. I woke up very early. Or I got up very early. So first we wake up and then we get up. I woke up at 6 o'clock in the morning. He woke up late. Leave, left, left. I live in the city. So don't confuse, please, these two words. Leave, it's a long sound. Leave and live, it's a short sound. I left my wallet at home. I left it in my room. I left Russia. We left America. Break, broke, broken. They broke the rules. He broke the window. Break down. His car often broke down. Keep kept kept i kept his secret i kept my promise he kept his word hold held held he held her back he held that box 
He held it in his arms. Let, let, let. Let somebody do something. His parents let him go out. So without to. They let him stay there until midnight. His parents let him play outside. Mean, meant, meant. It meant the following. His behavior meant the following thing. It meant nothing or it didn't mean anything. Win, won, won. I won in that competition. We won in that tournament. We won the game. Blow, blew, blown. The wind blew suddenly. The wind blew so strongly. Okay, and more practice especially for you so you can listen and repeat as you wish. So, they often broke the rules. He held that box. They stole this information. He kept his money in a safe place. His car broke down. Her car broke down quite often. His behavior meant the fallen. Yeah, his behavior meant the fallen. My car broke down very rarely. Their team won unexpectedly. They let him stay there until midnight. His parents let him go out. He broke her pen. He held her back. We won the game. He stole such expensive things. I meant the following thing. They stole his idea. I won five hundred dollars. I left Russia. His parents let him play outside. He stole her back. We left Russia last year. I woke up as usual. He held the door. We left America. I left my wallet at home. The wind blew suddenly. I left money at home. He held her hand. I won in that competition. I left it in your room. It meant nothing. It didn't mean anything. He woke up late. Our team won suddenly. He broke his promise. They stole his clothes. I kept his secret. I left my keys. My car broke down very rarely. Your words meant a strange thing. She kept your money in a bank. I woke up at six o'clock in the morning. I woke up very early. The car often broke down. We won in that tournament. She broke the window. I left home 20 minutes ago. The wind blew so strongly. I left the office late. I left home at 8 o'clock in the morning. Yeah, not so early, not so early indeed. Okay, thank you very much, my friends. So let's continue this very important playlist so you can listen to it when you do other things. It's a very good, you know, English speaking practice, also English grammar, reading, you know, practice as well. 
Okay, so really this information is very important, um, not so basic, yeah, so you see it's becoming more and more difficult and really it will be more and more difficult and that's great my friend, yeah, so I'm sure that or I hope that you will support this idea because really it's so important. This playlist is worth watching, so in other words, it's a very good idea to watch this playlist, yeah, yeah. so you see. Okay, so... I'll try not to let you down and I'll try to continue it. Thank you.